Here's why you need to be sharing your own pottery techniques to the world. What is up, Shape Nation? This is Nick Torres here. And for those that don't know me, it is my mission to help potters like yourselves to find your own unique voice and do that by giving you tips and tricks I have learned along the way. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about why you need to be sharing techniques and why it's so important to actually helping you find your own unique voice with your pottery. You see, very recently, I had a very great conversation with someone and her name is Calliope Yvonne. In this episode, she contributes a lot of her success for making pottery and for starting a business in pottery to documenting her own pottery. And this is such a very, very simple thing that we can do. But at the same time, it's also something that can get in our way a lot because, you know, maybe you just learned this thing. Maybe it's glazing. Maybe it's you know, a certain way how you alter your pot. And you just learned this thing, but you don't want to put it out to the world yet because you just started learning it. I know I've been in that phase a lot. But where you just started learning it, and because you just started learning, you don't want to put it out to the world yet, and you don't want to start showcasing showcasing it off until it's a little bit better. And I definitely agree with that 100% because I do that myself. I did that recently with something that I've been working on with my own pottery. And it's okay to do that to where you aren't necessarily sharing every little detail of your pottery. Because one, that uses up a lot of storage on your phone, because that's probably what you're using. And then two, that takes a little bit of time to edit. So, you know, you have to pick and choose what you want to do. But I definitely know that problem, because I feel that I do that quite often until I'm actually a little bit better and then that's when I start documenting and that's when I start sharing my techniques. But here's why you need to start sharing your techniques once you at least get semi good enough with whatever you're making with your pot. So the first benefit of sharing your technique is you get your pottery out to the world. The more people that see your pottery, the more likely they're maybe going to want to buy it or maybe they're going to give you an idea. And the more you share your pottery, the more just more people will see it and more eyes is better things in general. The second reason why you can, why it's so important to share your techniques is that other people, as I just kind of mentioned a little bit, will kind of start giving you a little ideas. Like I'll give you an example. So I post very recently, I posted something on my Instagram. It was kind of a little bit of a process video of how I make my own, my own pottery right now, my own diorama mugs that I make. And after I finished making that the next day, like the next morning when I woke up, One of my followers on Instagram DM me. It was like, you know, it'd be a good idea if you could make it. So kind of like an incense wax burner type deal, have that type of thing where the top can be lifted off and below it is a campfire showing a candle. And I thought that was a really good idea. But, you know, but because, you know, I can't really I don't have the skills to build that up yet. That's like a, that's an idea for something else, like for later down the line. But it's still a very good idea. I wouldn't have gotten that if I didn't have posted about my own process. So the third benefit to sharing your own process is you get to help other potters as well. You know, sometimes it just takes that one little idea for somebody to see for them to start like, oh, that clicks, that clicks in my mind. And that is such a good idea. I don't know about you, but I have seen that a lot i have and for the first half of my my podcast journey i when i would interview someone oh that's a really good idea and i could apply it to my partner and i try it and like, oh that either worked or it didn't but because people put that put their techniques out there and they shared it with me i was able to get ideas and you could help do that as well for other people by simply sharing your own techniques so here are the benefits again number one it gets more eyes on your work number two you can get new ideas from other people just simply by sharing your techniques. And then number three, you're also helping other potters in the community as well. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.